what the hell is SD-WAN? Now we get a lot of questions from customers about SD-WAN. What is it? How can it help my business? Or what the heck does it even stand for? Now the telecom and cloud industry is synonymous for acronyms and for some reason, suppliers love to confuse the hell out of the general public. If you've ever sat in these meetings with these guys, you know that it quickly becomes judo mind tricks to see who's the smartest in the room by using acronyms that people have never heard of or have no intention of ever using again in their lives. So we wanted to do a quick video that answers those questions in simplistic terms that anyone can understand. In other words, we're not going to get into the weeds here. This is simply a high level overview so that you can come away with a better understanding of SD-WAN. Now the term SD-WAN stands for Software Defined Wide Area Network. You might be saying, that's great Derek, but what does that exactly mean? Well, to put it simply, SD-WAN is a virtual wide area network that allows your business to leverage multiple transport types, such as MPLS, fiber, coax cable circuits, DSL, or even 4G, while also providing the added benefits of application prioritization, load balancing, and increased reliability. So let's look more closely those three areas. When it comes to application prioritization, SD-WAN provides IT managers a vehicle to increase the performance of applications by setting up clear prioritization paths, thus increasing the user experience. To simplify this even further, let's say you have a CRM application that is heavily used and has a high priority. You may want that application to have first priority to the fastest and most stable route that has the least amount of latency and jitter, while other applications, such as web surfing or streaming YouTube, may get a much lower priority. Unlike traditional networks, the amount of priorities that you set up in an SD-WAN are limitless. Now, that brings us to load balancing. But what do we actually mean by load balancing? Well, depending on the type of traffic as well as circuit conditions and capacities, traffic can be spread across all circuits, meaning I could have several different types of circuits pulled together and sharing resources simultaneously, or the traffic could be set up to use a subset of circuits, or traffic can be sent down a specific circuit. That means that different applications can be set up to use different circuits and thresholds of allotted bandwidth can be set up for each application as well. So the bozos streaming YouTube and Netflix won't be able to slow down the people that are actually trying to get some work done. Ultimately, this creates a smarter and more efficient network that's not constantly constrained by bandwidth availability or latency or jitter. Now, let's address reliability. Traditional networks typically utilize dual circuits set up to fail over primary to secondary inside of a router. The problem with this is that bandwidth can't be aggregated together into the overall download or upload speeds, and often the failover is a manual process. In this type of network, the secondary circuit will sit idle until it's needed. Whereas in SD-WAN, the circuits become aggregated together and packets are simultaneously sent out each circuit. That means if you're on a VoIP call over your fiber connection and some doofus using a backhoe digs up your circuit, your call will stay connected without anyone knowing the difference. In a primary secondary setup, that call drops. There's nothing more frustrating than an internet outage at your business. And SD-WAN not only increases the reliability of your network, but also increases the reliability and functionality of your applications. 
Ultimately, SD-WAN is about building smarter, more reliable networks that your business can count on. It's about future-proofing your business while increasing your customer and employee satisfaction. Now, there are a ton of benefits to using SD-WAN that we didn't talk about here today. In fact, some of you may be thinking, why didn't he talk about security? We realize that SD-WAN can help a business increase its overall security posture. And we actually cover that in another video called The Emergence of SASE, where we'll dive deeper into this newly created category by Gartner. If you're concerned about cybersecurity, and you should be, you'll want to check that one out. Until next time, I'm Derek Rausch, and that's the point.